very good morning to all my viewers i welcome you all once again with a smile for the morning session of my lecture today i would be taking up a new topic that is on the face of it from vistas it has been written by susan hill in today's lecture i would be covering about the author introduction as well as the you know theme of this particular chapter okay and later on i would be proceeding towards the explanation which i may not be able to cover at one stretch but definitely i would be covering it within you know one or two sessions but in the first part along with the about the author as well as about the introduction and then i would even try to talk about the theme okay so i hope all of you are ready children fine good morning to all of you and i hope each one of you are you know getting benefited out of my lectures because i'm very brief in it so that you would be able to answer every simple question or any mcq that is given to you easily so let's begin i would like to start off with about the author as i told you it has been written by susan hill and before i proceed ahead i would like to ask you all what is this uh, chapter on the face of it means it means that you know everything appears to be when you look at someone they say appearances are deceptive generally jo dikhta hai wo hota nahi hai same is this with this chapter you know you may see a smiling face but you know there may be many scars on his heart that maybe he is not trying to share it with anyone so same thing is jo dikhta hai wo hota nahi hai okay whatever appears on the face is not exactly the same till the time you come to know you know about them very keenly so this chapter on the face of it it has been written by susan hill she was born in scarborough england in the year 1942 she is a prolific writer and has authored many novels collection of short stories and children's fiction she is a reviewer critic and editor she became interested in theater very early in her life and she liked the sound and smells of theater she had to undergo tragic circumstances which include the death of her first partner second child and her own near death experience in her semi autobiographical novel in the spring time of the year 1974 she talks a great deal about loss sense of loneliness and isolation okay and is reminiscent of derek in the play on the face of it with this i would like to move towards introduction in the play on the face of it susan hill wants to convey that a physical impairment is always very painful it makes one pessimist in the face of neglect by others its pain is often less than the sense of alienation 
felt by a disabled person a person with a disability wants others to treat him normally without showing any overt concern or pity so let's keep in mind children if we come across in our lives any candidate with any sort of physical impairment see we should always consider them equivalent to ourselves okay so the next is the theme of this particular chapter the play on the face of it deals with the idea that appearances are generally deceptive as i said on the face of it lamb appears to be a happy and contented person he has a tin leg because one of his legs has been blown off in the war people avoid him children tease him by calling him you know lamey lamb he seems to have accepted life as it is he encourages dairy a young teenager to have a positive attitude in life he tells him that he likes to talk to people he enjoys sitting in the sun he loves to grow plants and flowers and read books in reality however he is very lonely towards the end of the play in the first scene he displays signs of loneliness and disappointment he yearns for human company ichha rakhte hain okay he thinks that even derry will not come back to him again though he had promised him he hides in him a deep sense of alienation a l i e n a t i o n on the face of it everything seems to be all right but actually it is not so the sense of alienation gives him much more pain than any physical impairment children a person with a disability wants others to treat him normally without showing any overt concern or pity he needs real encouragement to live his life meaningfully so thus both lamb and derry suffer a sense of alienation moving ahead let me tell you and introduce you to the two main characters of this beautiful play which you know lays a wonderful message in it there are two main characters one is mr lamb and the other one is derek he's in the play he is called as derry okay mr lamb is an old handicapped person whereas derek a young boy of 14 he has an ugly half burnt face due to acid burns so thus this little child this teenager is suffering from inferiority complex and he remains all the time conscious of his handicap okay so children with this i would love to move ahead towards the summary of this particular chapter i would love you all to go through the summary so that you understand every context every dialogue between mr lamb and jerry you know thoroughly so let's begin with the summary first the play on the face of it is divided into three scenes with the first one being the longest because it is here that derek the lad of 14 undergoes a metamorphosis the play features 
you know an elderly gentleman mr lamb and a young lad of 14 who meet in the you know farmer's garden f o r m e r s farmer's garden means in mr lamb's garden the lad enters the garden stealthily stealthily s t e a l t h i l y stealthily means chori chupke se thinking it to be empty but is startled by mr lamb's advice mind the apples the young boy is confused and also feels guilty because he had entered the garden out of curiosity thinking that it is empty and comes across mr lamb he is consequently quite embarrassed and wants to go home so he was surprised to see that there was an aged man sitting inside a middle aged man okay however mr lamb reassures him by telling him that he does not mind strangers entering his garden or his house and he keeps all the gates of the house and the garden open he tells derek that he need not be afraid of anyone here mr lamb does not know that you know derek is a complex ridden lad so he is surprised when derek reacts haughtily to the word afraid and tells him that people are afraid of him because of his ugly face one side of which has got burnt because of acid mr lam does not react as expected by the boy instead he stays cool and tells derek that he is going to make jelly out of those crab ripened crab apples crab apples are nothing but they are it's a hard you know sour fruit however derek does not like this change of topic Mr Lamb try Mr Lamb tries to build up the boy's confidence by telling him that he loves all creatures made by God and that nothing in this world is so worthless that it deserves to be considered as trash even weeds have their own value thus Mr Lamb tries to teach he tries to motivate this young boy that even those unwanted plants okay that are grown along with the other crops they too have their value that means everything that has been created by the lord almighty has its value on this creation children at this stage mr lamb tells him that he too is handicapped and has a tin leg because the real leg of his had been blown off in the war now whenever he goes out the street children tease him by calling him lamey lamb but he does not mind it he advises derek to ignore people's comments derek however is bursting with anger against this world and is you know disapproving the comments of his mother because she kisses him only on the good side of the face mr lamb tries to deal with the negative attitude of derek in a very positive way and advises derek to think of the beautiful other other beautiful objects of the world derek feels interested in the unusual conversation and ideas of mr lamb and take some interest in what mr lamb tries to say and at this point of time children derek makes a meaningful comment by saying think of all those people worse off than you so this is mr lamb's expression he says उन लोगों के बारे में सोचो जो तुमसे भी बुरी स्थिति में हैं हाउ बिटरनेस वंस अगेन टेक्स द बेटर ऑफ डेरेक एज ही इज रिमाइंडेड ऑफ द कमेंट्स ऑफ द पीपल अबाउट हिम 
to which mr lamb answers meaningfully so you believe everything you hear then indirectly advising him to hear only good things that are worth hearing so se kya sikhata hai ki achhi cheezon ko suno do not listen to those negative comments which hurt you or cause wounds to your you know pain meanwhile mr lamb does not forget the task before him and thinks of his bee hive and the musical humming bees then suddenly mr lamb you know he was struck with a thought that he has to do some gardening then he thinks of his bee hive and the musical humming bees he says some people however call it buzzing then he tries to you know teach her. you know he advises and teaches a lesson to the little boy derek who is a teenager and he tells him you know yes see listen to the sound of the bee hives the music that they produce some call it as humming you know or some people listen to that sound of the bee hives they call it as buzzing so it is the attitude in life that matters he says realizing that derek is interested in what he says mr lamb narrates the incident of a timid man then you know mr lamb comes to know that this lad this young teenager is uh, appears to be you know very interested in listening to what mr lamb how is he trying to motivate him he showed interest in listening to his conversation so mr lamb he tells him a story of a timid man a weak man who refused to come out of his house lest he should meet some fatal accident usne ghar se aana bahut chhod diya tha kya karan tha that koi na koi ghatna uski zindagi mein ho jayegi he may lose his life but died in his room itself he stopped coming out of the house but he died in his room who it is that man that timid man about whom mr lamb is narrating an incident a story to derek because wow why did he die because a picture fell off the wall on his head and killed him through this story mr lamb wants to bring home the idea that one cannot change one's destiny kismat mein likha hua koi badal nahi sakta okay the story makes derek laugh heartily and from now on his attitude towards mr lamb in particular and life in general starts taking a u turn Mr Lamb tells him that he dislikes curtains because they shut out things. He says I do not like pardas in the house, you know. I do not like to keep anything concealed. I do not like curtains on the doors and windows. Derek thinks of what members of his family think about him and is reminded of their pitying attitude towards him. Ab Derek ko yaad aata hai कि मेरे उसके घर वाले उसके बारे में क्या क्या सोचते हैं और वो उस चीज़ को याद करके मिस्टर लैम को बताते हैं क्या कहते हैं मिस्टर लैम हैज़ एन एनकरेजिंग वर्ड फॉर एवरी पैसिव एंड पेसिमिस्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑफ टेरिक बट मिस्टर लैम वॉज सो मोटिवेटिंग एंड एनकरेजिंग दैट वॉट एवर स्टेटमेंट Mr sorry whatever statement Derek confessed before Mr Lamb he always reacted with a positive attitude and through his words he always tried to motivate Derek he reminds Derek of the positive things he has like strong legs he said he said you need not worry about the comments of the house members because you have two strong legs you know beautiful eyes ears tongue and brain and advises him to set his mind to doing things in order to be 
better than all the rest so how did he motivate him he told him you have been blessed with strong legs eyes ears tongue and brain and he also advised him to set his goal to set up his mind and try to do all the things in order to be a better person than the others okay so words of wisdom continue to flow from mr lamb's mouth and he tells him that every human being is his friend and that is not necessary to be acquainted with one in order to be one's friend so he tells him that you know every human being is his friend and he says it is not necessary that dost banane ke liye usse jaan pehchan hona zaruri hai right children direct to be his friend thus he considered little boy as his friend why because derek stated that he does not know him so tab usne ye jawab diya tha ki dosti karne ke liye it is not necessary that you need to be acquainted to someone he also tells him about the importance of people people are never just nothing he tell, he said see people are never nothing every person has some good quality in him okay so there is something valuable that every human being has been blessed with so never he says and advises derek to love all mankind because hatred you know corrodes us and hurts us more than acid so what does this mean he says to derek to never have a negative attitude towards the comments or the looks of other people because if we begin to develop such attitude towards every person so what would happen that hatred that is developing in our heart you know that would become more hurting than the acid that has burnt your face mr lamb assures derek that when whatever belongs to him is his so mr lamb tells derek that whatever is mr lamb's that all belongs to derek if he likes it derek's problem was that he was over obsessed with himself but now for the first time he talks about lamb and his handicap if you fell from a ladder and broke your neck you could lie on the grass and die then this little boy suddenly you know uttered he said see you are mr lamb you are planning to break you know the crab apples from the tree suppose you climb this ladder and try to break those crab apples you know the you may fall from a ladder and you may break your neck and you would be lying on the grass dead if you were on your own if you try to do this deed yourself this activity yourself lamb who has faith in destiny gives you know a cryptic answer because he has great faith in destiny he believes that if something has to happen if something is imminent then you cannot escape from it then he said i could yes you are right i could fall derek knows that his presence in lamb's house could help him but at this stage he is worried about his mother however lamb comes out with a philosophical answer people worry so you know when uh, derek tried to reflect some concern for mr lamb and he wanted to help him out in breaking those crab apples from the tree and he was he had some pity for lamb but again he reacted that he has to go home because his mother may be waiting for derek so then however lamb comes out with a with an answer he says whosoever meets him they generally you know reflect worry for mr lamb mr lamb who is a good judge of others because he is a middle aged man and he can easily judge others now knows that his conversation with derek has started having a positive effect on derek now gradually he you know 
uh, assumes and he judges uh, Derek that now he, his words have started having some impact on Derek's attitude and thus he is trying to transform himself now. Now he springs up a surprise, a challenge before Derek that he will never come back. So he threw a challenging expression. He said, I know you are going back to meet your mom and I can assure you that you would not be returning back. Now, the the purpose of Mr. Lamb was only to help Derek overcome all the hurdles, all the hesitations, handicap and complexes that stop him from growing. तो उसकी मेन एम क्या थी कि डरेक को उस नेगेटिविटी से बाहर निकालना ओवरकम करना उस सारे हर्डल्स यू नो सारी हेजिटेशन जो लोगों के सामने वो मिलता नहीं है हैंडी कैप्स एंड ऑल दोज इन्फीरियोरिटी एंड कॉम्प्लेक्सेज दैट यू नो बिकम बैरियर इन इस पाथ ऑफ ग्रोथ सो डरेक्स माइंड इज सेट ही इज अ चेंज लैड नाउ ही रनस होम एंड टेल्स इज मदर about his decision to go back to his new mentor so now derek immediately runs back home and he goes and tells his mother that mama i need to go back i have a new mentor a new teacher there and in spite of her protest he runs back to mr lamb's garden his mom tried to you know refuse or uh, did not consent that she should not permit and allow him to go back to the garden but the irony is that perhaps derek's apprehensions apprehensions means fear have proved prophetic and mr lamb has fallen down along with the ladder and does not respond to derek's words so uski baaton ka itna impact raha hai derek ke upar ki now there is an irony here कि वो बच्चा वापस मम्मा से परमिशन मम्मा ने परमिशन नहीं भी दिया तो भी वो अपना वादा निभाने के लिए ही रिटर्न बैक टू दी गार्डन ओके बट वेन ही रीच इज दै ही फाइंड मिस्टर लैम्ब लाइंग ऑन द ग्रास फॉल एंड डाउन पहाड्स ही इज डेड बट ही हैज ट्रेंड एंड ट्यूटर्ड ट्यूटर्ड मीन्स टी यू टी ओ आर ई डी ट्यूटर्ड मीन्स sikhaya one of the next generation to carry on his good work before passing off to the next world to usne ek lesson kya sikha hai derek ko ke whatever good you have in you keep giving to the next generations to the other people before you go to the other world so with this children we end the summary of this chapter and in the next video that i would be uploading i would give you the detailed explanation of the chapter meanwhile keep listening to the summary so that the chapter gets easier and you would be able to understand every context of this chapter okay take care good day bye keep yourself safe and sound with a smile